starting the birthday vlog celebrations and we have come to the cutest little hotel to start off the birthday celebration obviously my birthday goes on for like four five days um every year harvey absolutely despises it he gets so annoyed he doesn't understand why i'm so obsessed <laughs> and why i should have a whole week for my birthday but you know what i'm just like that and i feel like i deserve it so we're starting off the birthday celebrations at a hotel called the pig which we've come to the one in kent um and look how cute we've got a whole little cottage to ourselves i literally feel like i'm in a little like i don't know we've got we're gonna set the fire later and we're literally so late for our dinner reservation it took us two and a half hours to get here it was meant to take us an hour and a half look at that little kitchen and then we've got two bedrooms which i'll show you in the morning upstairs we were actually meant to be coming with our friends but they cancelled last minute so it's just half an eye here which will still be super nice so and apparently at the pig they like home grow like all of their um like vegetables and meats and everything so i'm really looking forward to dinner because apparently the food is really good we're off to dinner now we're late as per as usual late for everything we're meant to get here at 2 30 today we arrived at 7 at 6 30 because we had so much work on at home that we actually literally couldn't leave the flat. So I cancelled the lunch reservation. I was like, right, we'll just go for dinner and then we'll spend a bit of time here tomorrow morning and we can like relax, do like a nice walk, get some breakfast and then head back to London like 12-ish. Oh, I'm stressed, I feel stressed. So I need a glass of red wine, I think. Here's the birthday celebrations. The birthday week begins for Emily. How much do you love it? My birthday week. Milky, milky. That's all I can say. <laughs> Since she'd been her birthday three months ago, she'd be known it's her birthday. Then once it's a week out, it's her birthday. And then on her birthday, it's two of her birthdays in one. I'm the queen, that's <laughs> why. <Yeah. laughs> We are off on a bear hunt. Where are we going? Adventure. We've got our little torch. I've got the red wine. Oh my god, you literally can't see it. Wolf, it's kind of tan. Oh. Right, I actually can't do this. It's multitasking. I don't even know where I'm going. Harv and I are literally in heaven. Harvey's eating sweets. We've got our red wine on the go, mm. right by a fire, watching First Dates Australia. Lovely, really. I don't touch life to life for me from now on. I know, it is. No sirens. It's so quiet They're here compared to London. On the street, really. It's nice, yeah. Brilliant. We'll move out to the country. Maybe we're we're a bit of we're more country people than we are. Getting old. We're getting old, yeah, we're getting old and mature. But we're gonna finish the bottle of red. I might have a bath. I'm just gonna chill out. We've got a busy weekend ahead of us, so it's gonna be nice just to actually take a moment and switch our brains off because I feel like we haven't done that in like, well, especially Harvey, in literally six months. So. I can't remember the last time I watched like normal TV like this. No, it's nice, right? Like, yeah. He grew a beard. He's that stressed and that busy. He doesn't even have time to shave yeah. anymore. <laughs> get, he gets crumbs stuck in it though every now and then. <laughs> got birds landing in it. <laughs> yeah, close to. Right, we're going to enjoy the rest of our wine. I'm going to have a bath. And that's it. Mm. God, I actually am very beardy, aren't I? So this is the upstairs. We've got one empty bedroom here, which we were for our friends. Um, however, they literally pulled out last minute, which is fine, to be honest with you. Um, Harv and I are more than happy coming here on our own. I mean, going, excuse the mess of our bedroom. But I, I mean, and I'm watching Naked Attraction, which by the way, is the weirdest program that ever was made, but I semi-love it. I'm so excited to have a bar. And look how amazing the bathtub is. And look, it's like open. I want this. I'm gonna pick this house up and put it in Surrey or in London. This is perfect. Like your first home. Little cottage vibes. I'm literally like, I'm thinking in my head like I need to like, <laughs> I need to renovate. I need to get going and actually get myself something. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Good morning. 
Oh my gosh, there is something about country air. It's just, it's just different, isn't it? Look how nice this is to wake up to. You can hear like a little church with little sheep outside. We're gonna make some eggs on toast and have a coffee now. How nice that is. to come back it's it's not even 11 o'clock yet i'm already in the car on our way home but we were just like we actually have so much to do mm. back in london that we may as well just leave <laughs> which sounds a bit boring but we literally do just have so much to do and tonight i am having a party like a drinks reception canapé party and everyone's invited and i have no friends so no one's invited <laughs> no um Aragon House, which is actually in Parcels Green, and Tiff's dad owns the pub, um, and it's got a nice little private dining room area downstairs, so um, with a bar and everything. So I'm having drinks there with everyone. I've invited like 40, 50 people, which will be really, really nice. I've got the party planners coming at, not the party planners, the decorators, who are called Entertainment 12, which if you are ever needing balloons or anything like that, they are so good. Um, I highly recommend them. I've used them for a while. Actually, Harvey did them, uh, used them last year for my birthday, but it was a surprise, and I've just used them ever since. Um, so yeah, I'm meeting them at four because they're going to do like little decorations for me, and then seven o'clock meeting family and friends, which will be really fun. I'm quite excited actually. And then tomorrow we're off to the rugby, which I've never ever been to a rugby match before half's taking me tomorrow's my actual birthday even though i feel like it's today <laughs> and it was yesterday so. <laughs> um so we're going to the rugby tomorrow which will be really fun um so i'm excited for that i am ready for my birthday drinks this is what i'm wearing i mean i actually did this so last minute i got home and i was like oh my god i haven't even thought about what i'm wearing which is really unorganized but i bought this little shirt thing laser shirt in zara and it's got like this kind of shoulder pads and it's quite low cut and then <clears throat> i just paired it with a black skirt i mean it's really nothing special to be honest but simple but effective you know i'm excited to have a glass of wine i'm gagging for one it's only bloody half six <laughs> i mean that is totally a completely normal way, um, time to drink so i'm just waiting on harvey because he's late he's been in a meeting so that's great but i can't wait to go see the room and the balloons and everything that the P and that Entertainment 12 have done for me. Here she is, Rach, first one at my party. <laughs> Happy birthday, 26 years ago. She's actually wearing my dress and my boots. And this is what the lovely Entertainment 12 have done. So obviously this is not just my birthday, my mum and me and Mark. Um, we're just here early because I wanted to get some, show you guys the, uh, the room. How sweet. Waiting for my guests. Help. Why am I... Every time I drink, my lips swell. <laughs> or, if I'm w or if I'm tired, or I've just woken up. My lips look double the size. Oh my god. I'm dying. Oh, I can't do it anymore. I literally... Oh, look how bad my fake tan is on the moment. I literally cannot drink. <clears throat> I'm such grandma. Oh my god, I'm dying. But it's fine, because it's my birthday. Um... Do excuse the fact that my lips look like they've had 20 litres of lip filler pumped into them. I had such a nice evening last night. I'm dying today. My head hurts. It's actually my my actual birthday today. <laughs> I feel like it's been going on for ages. <laughs> Come back here after the rugby and just chill. And last night was so fun. I had all my family, all my friends. I didn't vlog it because I was so busy like chatting to everyone and entertaining. I actually didn't even have the time, but yeah, I had such a nice time. I need to get in the shower, 
take off my makeup. I've still got the makeup off from the night before. You can see, like, <laughs> I haven't taken my makeup off properly. <laughs> and yeah. Harvey and I woke up today at, well I woke up at half 10, 11, which is so late for me. When I say I never wake up that late, I genuinely never wake up that late. I'm like eight o'clock. So I must have like really needed it from the night before. But last night was, yesterday was really, really fun. I've never been to a rugby match before, but it's such a nice day. We stayed after the rugby, had a few drinks, and then we went to a family friend's house. Um, just for a couple more drinks and a cheese board. So it was very, very um, mature, shall we say. N not the cheese, but I was. <laughs> but like, I feel like I was, it was a grown up end to the birthday, a little a few drinks and a cheese board. I remember by 11, we were so tired and a bit hungover from the night before, but definitely getting out, having a few drinks, sorted me out. Today, we were meant to go out for a roast dinner, but we've decided we're gonna cook one here. I've gone downstairs and got all the bits for it. So I'm doing a roast chicken, haven't cooked a roast in, I wanna say, a year. And I forgot to, I completely forgot to show you guys what Harvey got me for my birthday. He did very, 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 very well. So I'm gonna prop you up. A big Louis Vuitton bag. Things we like to wake up to. And that is big bags. And bless him, he got me this. I put it all away now because I um, didn't want to leave it out. But he got me, with my initials on, the big kind of weekend Louis Vuitton bag, which is so nice. It comes with a strap and everything. So this is going to be my new weekend bag. What do we reckon? Do we reckon he did well? I think he did. Uh, and I got lovely, loads of lovely flowers as well. And bits and bobs, I got this as well, which is really nice. Oh, it's run the wrong way. A little necklace with beads on. I've done very well. I'm absolutely loving my uh, my weekend bag. I'm here. I've got. I've just sorted out this rail here. It's got all my Black Friday stuff that I've got to do for Instagram. On. Um, I'm doing like. I've got so much to do next week. It hurts my soul, but it's fine. We'll get it done. And I'm very happy. I'm a very happy girl. I had a great birthday. We've got the chicken and potatoes in. About to pep, about to pep, about to prep the cauliflower. Got some little Christmas film on. Washing done. One of those Sundays, which I love. Winter Sundays are my favourite. I might even have a little glass of wine actually. May as well see off the birthday weekend. All these little wines which I need to try, so I think I'm gonna crack one open. And here it is. Obviously you need to put the gravy on, but yum. It's very yum, well done him. Well done me. So the birthday celebrations are officially over and we are now on to Christmas celebrations. Christmas is my favorite, favorite time of year. I get so excited. And I'm actually gonna be potentially away a lot of December. So I've got um, loads of different bits planned. And I'm actually away up until Christmas Eve. So I need to be super organized this year and have all my presents ready for about the 5th of December, which sounds crazy, but I need to be organized. So what I'm doing, and as well, I don't really know what to do with the flax. I want to make it Christmassy and cozy and nice, but I don't want to put up a Christmas tree. Call me crazy, but I'm literally just not going to be here the whole of December. So it seems just to be a bit of a waste. Um, so I'm thinking 
about um, just decorating, like doing like a nice long thing along my table here. Excuse me, it's really messy at the moment. I've just been sorting things out. But like a nice long, like little Christmas table display. And then I've got like a cute little light up penguin and just kind of putting like little bits around the flat. So I also today am starting my wrapping. It is still November and you're probably all gonna think I'm crazy, but I got some really cute bits from Etsy, which I'm gonna show you guys. Um, I'm gonna try do, I was trying to use as much, as little wrapping paper as possible and use more like reusable stuff, just because it's obviously better for the environment. I have got to wrap a couple of bits though, um, but I will show you my little my little plan, which I got from Etsy. Instead of using like name tags that you write to go on presents, I got these little ones made. They're reusable, and I just thought they were really cute. And you can get them engraved. This is Harvey. I call him Meng for some strange reason. He calls me Meng. Um, so I've got those made, and then I got these little Santa sacks, which are just like reusable. And um, I've got like loads of little bits in that. So like a lot of like, I'm not gonna say on here just in case any of the uh, ladies of my family are watching this. So I've got a couple of those, which I thought was better than wrapping everything individually. I've still got loads to do. So I'm trying to just like plan in my head what I'm doing. I'm going to end this vlog here just because I haven't actually got much further with my Christmas shopping or my decorations. I feel like I'm gonna stop this video now so I can get it out to you guys and then I'll do a separate Christmassy vlog for you all. So thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you have enjoyed and lots of love.